Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to create a watermark logo in Canva. It's very easy to do and if you'd like to follow along I will leave my link in the description where you can get Canva for free or simply use that for easier login access. Now keep in mind I'm not going to show you how to actually like create a logo from scratch rather instead take a logo that you have and use it as your watermark on any image that you have. I just wanted to make that clear. So I already have one right here but what I'm going to do is click on it. So we have Marketing Island. This one is going to probably work a little bit better. I do have the logos like this. Keep in mind, if you want to use a logo that's, say, more of like a square or circle, you're probably just going to need to make it bigger or just, you know, duplicate it many more times. Nevertheless, what we want to do, we can keep it like this, but I think it's going to look better as a watermark if we kind of remove a lot of the colors. So what we can do, as with my previous tutorial, we can go to Edit Image. We can scroll down and go to Filters and then See All, and we can utilize the grayscale one. So this is going to look a little bit better. So now that we have that, I'm just going to stretch it out a little bit bigger. I think that looks fine. And now when we click on this, we can go to the transparency. And I found like around maybe 20 or so. Keep in mind, it's really going to depend on the image that you have behind it. Like I have the water there. So uh, if that was darker, it'd be much different, right? Or if it was, you know, bright, dark, obviously just play around with it until you get it right. When you do have it right, what we want to do is just simply copy this. So we can click on this duplicate here. And we can just slide it down a little bit more. I think that looks fine there. And then we can do that one more time. So this is pretty much how you can maybe want to move this up a little bit more, you know, play around with it, you know, it, where it looks better. But that's ultimately how you can take a logo that you have and use it as a watermark on a photo. This can be very helpful, say, if you're doing client work and you want to send someone a rough draft of something, but you don't want them using it right away. This is perfect for this. So obviously they're not going to go out there with your logo watermarked all over. But that's going to be the basics of this, where you can take your logo and use it as a watermark on any image that you want. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.